every job near water. Like there's no it's gold. <laughs> right. All of it. There's there's not a lot of naval work to be done in fucking Nebraska. Never gonna thank you. So I just I, ever since then I'm like, if I leave the water, I find myself just getting dark and angry and depressed and I think that's me. I can't fucking do it. Even when I was in St. Pete, she was four fucking blocks from the ocean. It's too fucking far. <laughs> I'd got to get out and see the fucking water. When yeah. I wake up, the water better be fucking ready to hit me in the face. And I know definitively where I need to be. I am so dialed in. St. Pete is uh, Gulf side, right? Yes, and it's uglier than fuck. Yeah. Shitty water. It's been just, it's battered. It, no yeah. visibility. It's the ugliest shit. And I told her I'll never live on that side. Ever. Ever. She's like, well, we can get a place over in Key Largo. Da, da, da. And I'm like, I'm not moving to Florida. I'm sorry. I just, two years of paying over $150,000 fucking dollars for my place that I barely got to live in. I'm moving the fuck into my place so I can have my life. Well, now, Florida, and I, I haven't been to Florida in a long time, but I did live on the East Coast for quite a bit. But Florida, if I recall, is like a stupid long continental shelf, right? Dude, it's, yes. So there's not a lot of diving, I would imagine, right in Florida. No, you got to go five to six miles away. out. Uh, you can do Juniper, uh, Key Largo, um, okay. and Key West is so rough because right. you're at the boot and the crossover of the Gulf and the uh, Atlantic. And so it's a difficult one at best. But I'm sure there's tons of in the Caribbean. Oh, there's a fuckload. Yeah. I mean, I've done so much diving there. I've done probably more diving on that end of the world than I have here. Well, no, that's not true. I trained here. So I had eight years of training. So, no, I go the fuck out of How it. How long before I could start generating revenue for you and me? Well, if you'll fucking jump it, I, I'll start. If you'll work with me to start building websites and we start a fucking viral campaign, right? Uh, fuck, I'll start training you immediately. I, and everything's done uh, digitally now. You don't even have to fucking buy the books, none of that shit. It's all online. And literally, we could, I, I can start fucking uh, paying you as, uh, let's see, as a dive master, timeline. Well, I'm going to come in as a partner, even if it's a junior but partner. Even, even some, so, you're yeah. going to be an equity owner. So yeah. we'll, we'll be partners across the board. You're going to build this fucker up. But we can fucking have a fucking dive adventure company. Plus, I teach the fucking police, the forensics on search and recovery of bodies. And so we can start hitting all the... That was what I was doing out in Florida. You know, uh, what, fucking, you know what, too, is we can do once you get me on that, too. So I have a unique position where any, anything that you're, the government's going to pay to do... Yep. We get, um, we get, it's called like bid discount. So let's say like um, we get like a 20% bid discount because I'm 100% disabled veteran. Yeah. And there's only a small percentage of us, like veterans are 7% of the population and 100% are, so we're like less than 10% of that. Yeah. So we're a percent of the percent of the population. And once we do, we get, oh, let's say we're going for a government contract and let's say everyone is bidding, oh, we can do this job for $100,000. Yeah. And we say we can do it for 120,000. By law, they have to consider that because we had a 20% discount, a hundred thousand dollar bid. Interesting. We compete with the hundred thousanders, but they still got to pay the one twenty. So then we come in and say at one nineteen, we're offering the same services that the hundred thousand dollar guy is offering. We basically can mark everything up nineteen percent and always get the bid. So let me share what else just happened. Okay. So, so I can do that with almost any of your companies. If I, I think I have to have like. A certain percentage of it I have to own the company. Easy. Figure out what that is. Right. And so, because I don't want to do anything that you're not owning in and you don't have equity in it. So, no. um, other part that just happened, uh, I may go uh, renew my contractor's license. I've got a big deal with a fucking guy that's got a half a million fucking dollars and he wants to do uh, flips. He also owns Pacific Tire, nine fucking uh, buildings, nine uh, spread out through California. Right very successful, wants to franchise them out. I've already talked to somebody that's the top franchiser in the country. Also, he wants me to build one of them in Hesperia. And so we can get a fucking job right there on the spot and all we're gonna do is sub the whole motherfucker out. So I need somebody to manage the fucking jobs and done. I can get so it like a fucking You bitch. and I could fucking put a, because I was killing it as a contractor and the market's getting ready to fall and all these motherfuckers are gonna lap up these fucking properties. properties turn them up, and that's them it. And, and we can around. fucking put a crew together and Got we it. are just reeling them out. And so I met with them today. How many How many years did you do DC? 27. Yeah, I, was, well, I think I already told you this. You, you know, we want to get into property anyway, right? And Period. I was, and I was thinking like, well, why don't I just fucking go get my GC? Uh, I, here's I the can thing. study for the fucking yeah. test. And I don't even want to 
necessarily do. I mean, I'd be naive. I wouldn't necessarily go out and be like, I can GC just because I yeah. get my license. But I also just want to go through fucking plan check and have it be a breeze. Absolutely. I want to have like. It'd be a smart idea because you'll understand. You'll learn the law. You'll learn the fucking yep. code. You'll learn all of it. And I'm getting ready to bump and run on this fucking thing. I've already called to set it up. And so I'm immediately striking on it. I met with him at 11 o'clock today. He owns the Pacific Tire and Hawthorne. And they did my brakes on my vet. He's worked on all my cars for a long time. And so I said, how much you liquid for? He said, a half a million. And so I said, let's fucking go into business together. I'll, we'll fucking, I'll find the fucking properties. We can get lists from the banks of fucking uh, foreclosed distressed and boom, move in for the fucking kill. He's got two other partners he released. One's got $750,000, the other one's got 400,000 and they're ready to start banging them. And so we could fucking immediately strike one. I'm not missing it. I'm not fucking missing no. it. And hey. contracting is my shit. I know that shit backwards and motherfucking well, forwards. I don't, but I can learn it. Well, fuck. Yeah. We really, ultimately, we're just going to fucking qualify our subcontractors and right. get them rolling the fucking yeah. projects. Well, project management I can do. That's, That's it. Easy. There's nothing else to do. I'm keeping it simple, stupid. I'm not swinging a fucking hammer. We own the fucking... I don't ever want to swing. We're not swinging shit. Nope. Or if I do, it's my own property. It's and I'm just, doing it yeah, we're going to build our own fucking yeah. house. Whatever. The only thing I'd ever want to do hands-on would be diving, frankly. That would be interesting to me. And I enjoy the water. We're going to trip. We can put together dive adventures, go to Aruba, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John. I've already done a bunch of them there. Sure. Hawaii is my key point. I've spent 800 fucking days diving in fucking Hawaii. I've got a mass amount of fucking people. All we do is list off that, uh, and my National Geographic status, that's why they were trying to hire me at the big fucking place in Florida that I did work at, and they were bringing people in from all over the world. That bitch was cashing in on my fucking certs. Go. Let's go down there. It's fucking classic. So let's architect the fucking. I'm ready to roll right now. We're not fucking around. I am at that point. I've got to fucking go now. I gotta and find, when you come gotta to the house, care for you, the kids. But you, even then, fuck, like, everything's easy. opening back up again. And I've got somebody that manages fucking kids that lives right there in our fucking building that is tried and true. So uh, Vanessa is a great fucking friend. Her dad's a big attorney. She's a paralegal. She owns a big spa. And her kids are three and five. And one of the relatives in the family, young lady, met them. Um, uh, her, in fact, her son's wife. And she comes to the house and watches the fucking kids right there. And she's fucking great. Okay. So locked and done. I've already got, I've got so, so much lined out. By and That's it. And they drop off and fucking. money, see you later. Done. And they're right there in the guarded fucking and gate. kids to play with. Yep. And we're already there working. Yeah. All right. So I want to do paddleboard adventures. So I'm doing a 30 day body by paddleboard. And now I've got people wanting to fucking go out on paddleboards and do exercise. We can do fucking yoga. We can do all kinds of shit right off the fucking beach. Wonder how much we can get uh, the VA to, to pay. Because the VA will pay for modified boards for people. See, that's key. And so we can fucking start. I, I want to do it across the board. I've been going out at six in the morning. I've already taken five fucking people out. And they're not, they're not hooked. They're fucking hooked. I got full exercise, bro. You gotta go out with me. You'll fucking trip. Yeah, I don't know how much of it I can do with my palsy. You don't have to fucking. You'll be fine. Trust me. All right. You'll be fine. You don't have to do it at the level I do it. I can fucking literally. I've got a cart that carries the fucking boards down. And plus, I've been going down the fucking staircase carrying two fucking twelve footers, one on each side, fucking killing it. Well, um, I can figure out a modification to carry the board. Of like, I got the back strength. That's my hands. I've got fucking. Uh, and that's the thing. So. Once you're out, oh, dude, hang on. I'll have to show you some shit. We'll change that. I'll show it to you when we get settled over here. Yeah. You're going to trip. It's propelled fin on the back of the fucking uh, surfboard. But okay. It just goes on its own. So if you get tired, fucking kick the board on and fucking remote control. And that motherfucker blasts through the like water. It's like It is. All right. It's cold. So anybody gets tired, click the fucking switch and done. No, I'm going full tilt. I am on. Everything that I've worked for is going back into action, hard and heavy. I'm not fucking around. It is full bore. It's Tyson, early days, custom auto. Well, Duck weaving fucking on the chin. Again, let's get me in so that you can double your amount of work. Well, that's key. So, um, immediately, so I've got Bangladesh people showing up at 6 o'clock tomorrow. They yeah, leave get, Sunday get, get night. The weekend. I'll get through that. Monday, we fucking immediately, immediately. I've already got a personal assistant working for me. 20 year old hottie that's Vanessa's fucking daughter she needed fucking work I hired her on she's hiring all of Vanessa's family yeah. we need someone to watch the kids it's, it's, it's keeping it in the family sure trusted 
I don't want any fucking strangers around. Of course, then if you have to fire one, you'll arrest them. No, I don't have to fire anybody <laughs> because they all have work ethics because they come from a fucking legal aspect right. and the fucking they task right. masters. 